Why men great till they gotta be great? Why be great? What other way is there to be? If you are not great, stay tuned to my video and you will see. Let's go. Find something you cannot afford to pay for. Tap into it. Tammy C. Walker here, life coach, therapist, social worker. I create content to inspire others. My hope is that my trials and tribulations will help you. Why be great? I don't know any other way there is to be. Why would you want to be mediocre? I have never heard of anyone getting an award for being the most mediocre singer of all times. The most mediocre tennis player. Have you heard of someone getting an award for being the most mediocre parent? How about the most um, basic hairstylist award? Being great is the only way to fly. It's the only way to go. And you can become great when you invest in yourself. As the great Michael Jordan said, it wasn't that I was the greatest of all times. What he said he did was practice, practice, practice. When everyone else was going home after a Bulls game, he stayed in the gym another hour or two. The same with the other greats, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. The ones that have the championships that push themselves past the point of no return, those are the greatest of all times. Entertainers like Beyonce, Jennifer Lopez, very few have the work regimen that these two ladies have, which is why they are trailblazers, which is why they are entrepreneurs, business women. Jennifer Lopez, that is one bad chick. She might be in a movie on the big screen. She'll have something going on TV and a new album coming out. I mean, you just got to say hats off to these type of people that believe in themselves and Whatever they touch, it turns to gold. They have the Midas touch, but that's because they give it their all. And I'm very sure it is hard to coach a Michael Jordan. It is hard to work under a Beyonce and a Jennifer Lopez because they give it 150 billion percent. And most people don't even give it 100 percent. So that type of person is going to expect a lot. What about Muhammad Ali? Float like a butterfly, sting like the a bee. And like he used to say, I'm so pretty. I'm just so pretty. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. He said that because he believed it. Because he believed it, he achieved it. He is one of the greatest fighters of all time. He stood for a time when there were civil rights and he didn't conform to what they wanted him to do, whether it would be the military, whether it would be black rights. He stood for what he believed in. The greatest in the boxing ring, but the greatest in life. What about you? Do you give life your all? Are you the greatest? Life would never, ever, ever deny itself to the man or the woman who gives it his or her all. And I've seen some women do this. Um, you know, like back in the day when I was in high school or when I was in my 20s, I've always been the type of lady this is just me, but I like to keep my hair up. I like to have a fresh outfit on. And it doesn't matter if it's a pair of jeans or a nice shirt, as long as it looks good. And some women, they feel insecure when you maintain yourself like that. And they'll say, well, I don't have time for all of that. Or I'm not a diva. I don't wear makeup. Again, greatest. Be the greatest. You want to look good because you feel good. I am a therapist. I have people coming in my office. If they come in and my hair is sticking straight up like Woody Woodpecker, my clothes are dirty and balled up and I have holes and rips or, you know, I look ungroomed, they are not going to want to come back to get, a, not even advice, support, encouragement. They're not going to want to come back to me because I don't even look welcoming and I don't look professional. So you get what you put out. Be the greatest. Be the greatest parent. Be there for your child. That's number one. Being a good parent doesn't mean buying them the latest Jordans and all this material stuff. 
A walk in the park goes a long way. Sitting in the bleachers at your son or daughter's or track meet at their basketball game. Putting them into different extracurricular activities that will mold them into a beautiful butterfly, as uh, Muhammad Ali said. To be the greatest, it doesn't come easy now because it means putting it all on the line. It means not being a holdout. It means not being a sellout. It also can mean not conforming to what the world says you should do. But you feel better when you put your all into something. You feel better when you look in the mirror and it's looking back at you and you're looking good. So, you know, maybe it's you who hasn't been doing your greatest. But today is a new day and you can start. And it starts by taking care of your mind, body, and soul always from the inside to the outside by eating your three meals a day, getting your proper sleep. Don't burn yourself out. You know, know when to pull that plug and say, I'm going to take a break. I'm off the grid for a little while. I'm taking a nap. That's taking care of your mind, body, and your soul. Feeding your mind with sermons, with good music, with journaling. Feeding your mind with meditation. This is mind, body, soul action right there. Getting up, moving around, exercising, playing with your nieces and nephews and your kids or grandkids. Take care of you, your career. Give it your all at work. Even if you're at a job you hate, give it your all. When it's review time, they have to give you a good review because that's what you gave them. And that's going to get you to where you really want to be. If it's your own business, stay up to 2, 3 in the morning and do that business plan. Do what you need to do to get to where you need to be. And the greatest is never a person that half does things. The greatest means you give it your all. Even when you're tired, even when you don't know where you're going, it's something about giving it your all. And you know, eventually it will pay off. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Be the greatest because why men great till they gotta be great? I don't know any other way to be, but great. Tammy C. Walker.